today. How much of a PR was that right there? It wasn't. Oh, okay. That's the problem. So nine, what did you do? Nine sixty or nine seventy before? Yeah, I did nine fifty nine in training. So um, I was hoping for four seventy. Yeah. Not, not four seventy. Four, uh, four forty, which right. is nine seventy. But I guess not today. So yeah. Hey, you got another Good. attempt. Huh? <laughs> so you got another attempt? Yeah. You never know. Not too, uh, not too far off. Uh, we'll be back at it one time. Yeah. Yeah, so. I got another meet here in a couple weeks, so. All right, so uh, first off, congratulations on your all-time world record. Thank you. That was pretty awesome. So, um, all-time world record, walk me through that second deadlift. Well, so, originally, I, I think, like, my plan was I wanted to, I really wanted 440 kilos, which is 970. That's what I wanted to do on my second attempt the whole time. But after my opener, I decided, you know, I'm a little tired at this point. I needed to just play it safe. I needed to get what I came here to do today, which was to get an all-time world record deadlift and total. So I did that, yeah. So so that 953 was putting me to where I could barely barely break the deadlift record, but then I broke the total record by 20 pounds. So feel feel really good about it. Um, I, I never thought that, you know, like a long time ago, I never thought I'd walk into me expecting to break a world record total. That was something that I just never thought I would achieve. Not that I wasn't going to try, you know, but it's something I never knew I would be able to do. So it's uh, definitely a pretty awesome thing to come in here and just finally get it done. I've been thinking about this total for a long time now. So Awesome. What does like, uh, some of the self-talk uh, look like before a lift? Like when you're going into that second deadlift, what are you kind of like telling yourself before you get up on the platform? You know, not a lot because I, I don't... I don't want to think too much, you know what I mean? I, I just kind of need to think about executing the lift well and not getting too excited by, because uh, my vision kind of just goes black. I don't see the crowd. I didn't really see anything other than the bar in my feet and just getting set up. I kind of just block out everything else because I, I you have to keep your head in it if you want, like, you know, to hit your best lift, you know what I mean? It's uh, You got to keep your head in it and just execute, so. Sure. Uh, I noticed you uh, ripped your thumb. Can you kind of like talk about that and, and how it like kind of affected uh, the third uh, deadlift? Um, so it didn't affect the third deadlift at all. What I would have done is, so I didn't even take a third deadlift. Because um, I, I have a meet in a couple weeks in Russia. <coughs> Sorry. So I have a meet in Russia in a couple weeks. So I figured after that second attempt, I got the total that I wanted to get today, the total world record. I got the deadlift world record. I'm not really benefiting a lot by getting another pull that I'm probably going to miss afterwards with how that one felt. And I'm completely healthy, so I just decided to completely, I just decided to walk away and just be done with the meat for the day. So. Awesome. Um, but the thumb, it just it just tore and bled a little bit, which is funny because it never happens in training. It's something that'll pretty much only happen at the meet, it seems like. So. Nice, nice. Um, what are you kind of planning for as far as the Russian uh, the Russian meet? Are, are you hoping to hit like a PR total, PR deadlift? Uh, so I'm doing deadlift only in Russia. Gotcha. And the whole point of going out there is to try to do a thousand, give it at least give it a shot. So whether it's there or not, I don't know, but I'm gonna try. So gotcha, gotcha. And then uh, it, will you be doing that meet as well? Uh, I'm not sure. <clears throat> I haven't talked to him. He just did big dogs, so I'd be surprised if he did this meet too. But I also wouldn't be surprised because he seems like he competes very often. So yeah. So maybe he'll do it. I don't know. I'm sure he'll at least be there, you know, in person. So yeah. Right. When he's like uh, doing the same meet as you, does that kind of uh, elevate your adrenaline, or, or how does it kind of? Not not really. I, I feel like I kind of just feel the same no matter what it a meet. If yeah. anything, it's just a little bit more fun to warm up because me and him warm up together. We kind of talk a little bit of shit to each other and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So it's fun. Yeah, I like I like hanging out with him and stuff. It's it's just, it's like cool when he's there because when we're warming up together, everybody just like stops and comes over and watches. Sure. So we feel special. It's like it's kind of cool. Awesome. Well, congrats on your uh, PR and uh, looking forward to what you can pull with the uh, Russian meet. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you so much.